How's it going everyone? Welcome to another video. Today we're gonna to be discussing basically every component in your computer and we're gonna go in order of what most commonly is the build order. So let's start off with the motherboard. Your motherboard is actually a lot more than just a point where everything plugs in. Your motherboard controls not only the inputs and outputs of your computer, but as well as the power distribution for a lot of components. The main plug being the 24 pin power plug will actually distribute power to your fans, the RAM, all your PCIe devices, and much more. The motherboard also acts as the main central hub for where all the data meets up between components and passes through. So this will include data from the PCIe lanes traveling on the bus to communicate to the CPU and a lot of other stuff. But basically this is not only just a connection area, but this actually supplies all the points and the controls for where data goes through your chipset. Now I have a separate video on motherboard chipsets if you want to go a little more in depth to those, but a real quick summary, basically this acts as the controller for a lot of things in your system. The motherboard can also contain onboard audio, onboard Wi-Fi, and networking. So it actually does a lot for your system. Moving on, let's talk about the CPU. And this is probably gonna be the fastest one because the most basic explanation is the CPU is what does all the math in your computer. And all the math is all the calculations. So the CPU is actually what processes most of the stuff in your computer, with the exception of the graphics card, which we'll talk about in a little bit. But the CPU is what is doing all the arithmetic math in the computer in order to actually process data. Moving on to the RAM. So your RAM is gonna be like the workbench your CPU works on. So the CPU is over there doing all of its math, working on problems and solving all the processes it needs to solve for your computer to work. And the RAM is basically its workspace. The RAM gives the CPU an area to store data that it's working on in a really fast way. So it's not like your hard drive where it has to access it through either SATA or NVMe. There's actually a direct connection from the RAM to the CPU on a super high speed bus. So that is the fastest way that the CPU can actually access memory. So anything it is currently working on, it'll temporarily store in the RAM. Now keep in mind, all the memory that's in your RAM will get dumped when the computer is shut off as this is not a permanent storage area. All right, as mentioned earlier, the graphics card. So this, I do have a separate video on. If you wanna check that out as well, we go a little more in depth to comparing the CPU and the GPU, but your GPU or your graphics card as a whole is basically a small computer within your computer. This is a computer specialized to work with basically all the 3D and graphic components. Anything your CPU deems it needs to offload onto the GPU, it will, and the GPU can deal with all those calculations, freeing up a ton of time from the CPU. And the GPU is just built to actually do those calculations better. A lot of them are very redundant parallel operations, whereas the CPU is designed more for a variety of stuff. So the GPU kind of acts as the assistant to the CPU, but just specializes in its graphics area. Now moving on to the power supply. Now, unlike its name, the power supply does not actually supply power. It just takes the power from your house and converts it into a form that your computer can use. Typically here in America, our houses are powered with AC current where the computer needs DC current. So your power supply is just gonna take that 120 volts AC current from your wall and convert it into a much lower and a much usable DC current that the actual components of your computer can utilize. Now your hard drives here, let's talk about next, and these are gonna be what's called your secondary storage. So we talked about RAM earlier as the primary storage from where your CPU talks. Hard drives are the secondary storage, and that is where permanent data is stored. Now whether this is an SSD or a hard drive, it really doesn't matter. It does the same purpose, just in different methods, where SSDs will use flash memory to store all the data, hard drives will use a spinning magnetic disk. But in the end, they're both doing the same exact thing, which is basically storing this data for later access. Now, if you open your computer and you see extra cards in your PCIe lanes, this could be a number of themes as these PCIe lanes were designed so that way they could accommodate a multitude of different cards. This could be a capture card, a dedicated sound card. This could be a dedicated ethernet card, a Wi-Fi card. There is a ton of things that this could be. And these all just vary system to system on what the user needs. And that's what's the great thing about all these extra PCIe lanes usually computers have is if you need extra USB ports, you can go buy a card that'll give you that. Alrighty guys, and that is my list of all the parts of the computer summed up real quick and a nice summary here for you. If you wanna know more details on any of them, I'll have the other videos listed in the description. If there's one I haven't made yet that you wanted more info on, please leave it below in the comments and I'll get to that. Otherwise, I hope you guys have a good day. I'll see you in the next video.